Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Rachel Nicole and in today's video I am going to be sharing with you guys five things that I have learned while being an engineer. So if you want to stay tuned for that, I'm going to give you a few seconds to grab your snacks, tea, and I'd appreciate it if you like this video before we get rolling. Okay, so the first thing that I learned while being an engineer is that you have to do it yourself and you are what you make of it. So the one thing that I really do like about this engineering experience, it's you don't have to go to school to be an engineer. So why is that, Rachel? Well, one of the reasons why you don't even have to go to school to be an engineer nowadays is because literally everything that you learn in engineering is just up to you. It's really you. Like you can go to school like I did, but when you graduate college, I feel like I mainly became a Google expert. You're teaching yourself pretty much all the material for the most part. I mean, yeah, they give you tests and they might even give you some like real, um, like nice little projects to work on to add in your portfolio in college, but in reality, it's really what you make of the experience. Just because they have they might like teach you stuff in class. You have to put in the work yourself. You have to go above and beyond and study each and every night, especially with programming, no matter what language you want to learn, you have to teach yourself. It's not like, it's not like when we all went to English class for 10 plus years and we all learned the same thing over and over again. That's not the same thing with um, programming. You, you learn something new each and every day. And that's why I think it's a real great learning experience because it is what you make of it. Some people, when they go out of college, they don't become good engineers. Why? Because they didn't put in the work. They didn't make the most out of the opportunity while they were in college. So, like I said, whether if you're going to a university or if you're taking the self-taught route, it's really important to understand that you have to make the most out of this experience. Nobody else is going to be able to teach you um, every and anything to get a job. It's great to know that, okay, besides my channel, of course, there are, there are other channels here on the platform that give you really great realistic advice, but at the end of the day, it comes down to you and what you make of the opportunity. Ah, now, I really have to touch on this point because not only you have to monitor your mental health, but you also have to implement self-care. Yes, okay? Even though majority of the time we are just typing stuff on a computer, let's be real, at the end of the day, does your neck hurt? How about your back? My back hurts a really bad eye. You see all those pillow support I have behind me? Like, I need support. You need to take care of yourself. If you think, even though we're not like physically doing that much work compared to other jobs. At the same time, it's a toll on your mental health and you have to monitor that. You have to make sure that you're taking care of yourself and you're not overworking yourself because the most common thing amongst programmers nationwide is we tend to burn out. And why do we burn out? Because we spend day in and day out just staring on a computer, typing, trying to learn stuff all the time. And we're not taking a moment to just be like, all right, you know, maybe I just need to take a step away, take a step back from the computer for a second, you know, because I'm spending all this time on the computer, my neck is hurting, my back, you know, you need to make sure you're taking care of yourself because that's why a lot of people, listen, a lot of people aren't going to admit this, but I will because I have my points at time where I just kind of wanted to give up with programming. I didn't realize it's because I was spending so much time on the computer just typing stuff all the time and I wasn't making enough time in my day to take care of myself, whether if it's physically because my neck and my back be hurting a lot, mentally because I'm just burning out trying to learn so much stuff and you need to make sure that you're okay, like emotionally too, like are you okay? Like do you need a break? You know, sometimes you need, sometimes you just need a break, man, and you can't always overwork yourself. So. That's why it's really important to implement self-care and to monitor your mental health as well. Okay, so one thing about your engineering journey, which has really helped go hand in hand with my self-development journey, it's mainly one mindset 
that you as an engineer will hopefully develop if you already have it. But you start to develop that mentality where you just want to keep growing and that's why it goes hand in hand with your self-development journey. Because being an engineer, you want to learn how to be the best at whatever you're learning, right? You, If you want to learn a new language, you want to condition yourself to try and be the best that you can at whatever programming language you're learning, for instance. And that same mindset can actually carry on to a whole gander of different aspects of your life. So for me, just because I really want to, just because like, for instance, I want to be good at a specific programming language, that's not like all I do um, 24 hours of my day. I love programming, but there's other things in my life that I want to self-master. So that's a key word that we're going to take away here self-mastery and for those of you who like listening to self-development podcasts such as myself um my favorite motivational speaker is les brown and he really emphasizes the port the importance of self-mastery different areas of your life you know you want to make sure that you're the best that you can be at everything that you're doing and i feel as though once i started my engineering journey and developing the mindset that like you are what you make of it this whole experience is what you make of it you have to push yourself each and every day to grow and become better and learn from our mistakes and that's something that is a really beautiful part of engineering and i feel like that's why a lot of people kind of like steer off from engineering i feel like engineering can be intimidating for a lot of people because we're conditioned to have everything handed to us let's be real like in school like for instance with my um with the english class scenario that i mentioned earlier we're kind of like conditioned the same thing each and every year with english like i gotta be real once i got to high school i wasn't really learning anything new in english class that i've that i haven't learned before right so it's like we're pretty much conditioned to learn the same thing but when it comes to engineering you know I don't know about you guys, but me, I didn't have the opportunity to take engineering classes until I went to, um, until I went to college. So that's why engineering is a really cool part because it's like, you have to push yourself to want to grow each and every day. Like I said, you, if you want to learn how to master a programming language, if you want to be a web developer, software developer, QA engineer, whatever, right? You have to have that mindset where you have to push yourself and you want to grow. And having that mindset is going to help you with different aspects of your life as well. So point number three is definitely going to carry over to point number four for sure. Um, let's be real, or at least I'm going to be real with myself for a second. Out of all the people I ever met in my life, and like categorize I guess like me I've worked a whole bunch of different jobs I've worked um I don't know like restaurants I've done retail I've done marketing I've done I've done a whole bunch of different jobs in my life but the one thing that I really found interesting about engineering is the people like I just think out of like all the groups of people that I've ever been around in my whole life Engineers are the most well-rounded people. I gotta be real. And I love meeting new engineers because we all have unique thoughts, ideas. We all have different projects that we're working on, building, creating. Let's be real. I mean, I, I can't talk about this stuff with the average person, okay? And that's why I love talking about stuff like this with other engineers, meeting them, and just networking and learning about what you guys are working on because that's the coolest part about being an engineer is not only the fact that we have that mindset where we are what we make of it, we always have to continue growing and building, but I think it's cool to know that like everybody has like their own like special skill and it's kind of cool to know that like everything in technology somehow intertwines in some way shape or form so i think it's really i I don't know i just love the people that i met throughout engineering my experiences with networking it's just nice to see that like everybody see the one thing that i like about engineers is like we always have that like can do mindset like 
I don't know what it is with us engineers, but we always had that mindset that we could always make something work. And I just love that positive mindset. And that's something that I haven't really came across with other people. I got to be honest, engineers, for the most part, are pretty positive people. Because let's be honest, if we were to give up every second, how would we have our jobs? How would we be able to continue building and growing? You feel me? That's one of the most beautiful things about engineering, for sure. All right. Now, probably one of my favorite points, which of course is why I probably saved it for less. <sighs> so, you get to make your own opportunities. Yes, I said it. I just love this engineering path because something that is not emphasized enough is, listen, if you want to be an engineer, there's not just one type of engineer, okay? There's a variety. I love the different flavors of engineering we got going on here, especially on this platform itself. We got a whole bunch of great, intelligent engineers, and it's really nice to know that there's like not one specific path when it comes to engineering. There are so many opportunities right at your fingertips. And it's just really nice to know that like you can do one thing for like a couple months, take a different role for a couple months, and just learn all these different things to make you like a really well-rounded developer. Okay, so back to number five where you make your own opportunities. Like I said, when I went to college, I wanted to be a web and application developer, but I started to get internships for QA engineering, and then I started picking up on that. I have had at least three internships for quality engineering. The opportunities are endless here for technology. The fact that people still sleep on this as a major, I will never know. But the fact is, you can make so many opportunities for yourself. Like I said, I learned how to be a web developer. I learned quality assurance. I actually do have some project management experience as well. So, you know, you don't have to be just one thing and engineering. So that's one thing that I definitely want to touch base on because that's the thing, or at least a misconception for me, because I thought, oh, there's only like one type of engineer that's just because you're just like a software engineer. I thought that was just the general terminology that people use, but no, there's more than just that. That's why I make my quality assurance videos because I don't see nobody else making QA content. So I'm going to step up to the plate and release some content for you guys, as you guys have seen. So, these are the five things that I have learned while being an engineer. I hope you guys have learned something too. And if I missed any points from my fellow or future engineers, please drop some comments down below on something that you have learned throughout your engineer journey. So, if you aren't already a part of the family yet, what are you doing? Smack that subscribe and bell notification button so that you never miss another post from me again. I'll see you next time.